Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial React Native Video Calling App Part 7. In this part of tutorial, we will install a WebRTC package to our React Native app. So let's get started. I have just uh, listed on all the steps needed for this and we will follow the steps now. So first thing first, we need to install the package in our React Native project. So I am in my React Native project root directory and here I will install my WebRTC package. So let's do it. okay our package is installed now and now we need to open our project in uh, in xcode so that uh, we can make uh, required changes so the next thing that we need to do is that we need to go to libraries directory and we need to right click and uh, we will get add files option and then we need to select the RCT, uh, RCT Web RCT X project and add it. So let's do it. We will go to libraries and we will right click and we will get add files to and we'll go to video calling app. No, not this one. Okay, we need to go to node modules inside video calling app directory and then we need to locate react native web rtc react native web rtc and then we need to go to iOS and we need to select RCT Web RTC X code project and add okay so it's done and the next step is to right click on the root project directory and select options add files to and then select node modules react native iOS Web RTC framework and then click add so let's do it we will click on and files too and then we need to go to node modules React Native Web RTC, iOS, and we need to select this and click Add. Okay, so it has been added. Now the fourth, the fifth step is select Node Modules, React Native Web. Oh, we are done with this. Select Build Settings and enter Search Paths. So we will go to build settings and in the search text box we will enter search p a t s paths. Okay, so now we can see framework search path, header search path, library search path. So let's see what we need to do. We need to add this to framework search path and library search path. 
So let's do it. Let's set it to recursive framework search path and library search path. Again, let's set it to recursive. Okay, so we are done. Now let's click on general tab and under embedded binaries add WebRTC framework. So let's go to general tab and embedded binaries and add WebRTC framework. Okay, so it's done. Now click build phases tab and under library link binary binary with libraries add libRTC WebRTC A. So let's see where we will get that. Okay, we have linked frameworks and libraries and if we go to libraries and rtc web rtc export project and go inside this okay not here inside products we are getting this we will simply drag it place it here so it's now under linked frameworks and libraries okay now next step is to add the following libraries so we have 10 libraries 10 more libraries that we need to add so it's AV foundation the first one so let's do it AV foundation framework let's add it next one is audio toolbox audio toolbox framework added next is core graphics core graphics framework added next is GL kit GL kit okay it's added Next is Core Audio. Core Audio Framework. Okay, added. Next is uh, Core Video. Okay, it's added. Next is Video Toolbox. Okay, it's added. Uh, after that, it's libc DVD. libc DVD added. Then we have lib SQL Lite three. added next is uh, lib stdc++ okay so we have added the 10 more libraries that were needed and now we are on 10th step so under build settings set dead code striping to no so let's go to build settings and dead code striping we need to set to no and the 11th and the last step build options set enabled with good to no so we need to search for build options 
and we need to set enable bit code to no okay so we are done with the installation part